we only mine about 65 feet of that seam. Uh, on the top of that 65 feet, we have a development phase. No! No! No, not that one, no! Oh man, back into the salt mine again. Thank you very much for Prometheus for sharing my video on uh, Lyra's Discord. <laughs> um, so, I cannot believe the amounts of salt that I'm actually getting. This is amazing. This is, oh, epic levels of salt. Um, I, I could be on part eight by now if I wasn't trying to not just focus on this incident. Um, this sort of thing, when this comes around, when you get something like this, it tends to make it a bit of a focus on my channel. So I apologize to people looking for other content, but I think you got to admit, this guy's worth it. This stuff is funny, and trust me, this episode is insane. He is just so cute and funny. I mean, he's adorable. He is so cute. But here's his latest thing. He's claiming that we're cheats. Um, he reckons we entered his multi crew and disconnected him. Um, he's reported the front here and he's got the video. Well, I'll actually show you the video because I took it off his live stream because he was live streaming the whole time. And in fact, he was live streaming even after he got taken off and disconnected. Well, he blocked Star and then Star joined his multi crew, which caused the game to have a schism because, you know, the game went, oh, he's blocked. And so it shouldn't allow him in. So it knocked his connection to the game servers off. Now all he had to do was reset the game and restart it and he would have been fine. But instead, he just keeps going back to the menu and relaunching loading game. And then it does it again and again and again. Well, not straight away. The first thing he obviously does is report Star you know, for hacking because that makes all the sense in the world. Um, your game crashed, dude. Uh, nothing to do with Star. And Star didn't knock you off the internet because your live stream was running the entire time um i am sorry about the, the poor quality in this part of the video i can't do anything about the levels at which he broadcasts on twitch yet um but yeah he reports staff for hacking and his description of the hack is dmps cheats or dmps cheating which is not really a description of the hack um, if you're going to say someone is hacking, what are they doing? Are they increasing their shield strength? Are they, in this case, DDoSing you, but not DDoSing you because your internet stayed running the whole time, just knocking off your connection to FDEV? Hmm, Star's skills must be He's amazing. Um, now, obviously, I can say, go find this guy's live stream, watch it. It's Yo Eminence without a zero. It's an O on Twitch. You can find his channel. Um, it'll be the live stream with more views than he normally gets because all the Dark Marauders have had a look for a bit of it. Um, obviously, fast forwarding a lot. It's, I think it's a six and a half hour live stream in which he spends five and a half hours sat on a landing pad trying to recruit people to his squadron. Uh, he goes in and he sets himself up in multi crew as a mentor then gets newbies to come in and then tries to persuade them that his faction's amazing and he's a god um, even though he's a novice commander who doesn't even leave the landing pad in fact when they get into multi crew the first thing he says to them is like hi hi and then he's like yeah we're not leaving the landing pad well, why are you setting up a multi crew why are you getting people into your multi crew if you're not going to multi crew and do stuff with them it's just kind of a bit mean and he convinces them to join a squadron that he's created, um, filled for the other noobs. And they don't seem to be getting any help. They certainly don't get any help on ship builds. They don't seem to get any help on their Discord. There's no, like, well, it just seemingly doesn't seem to be that sort of a faction that helps people. I could be wrong. There might be people on there that do. Um, it's very, very weird. His Discord's very quiet for a squadron with the number of commanders that he's got. Um, certainly if you came on our Discord and started, um, you know, having a go at people, you would get bombarded by a lot of people from a lot of different squadrons, because our Discord's open to a lot of people, including enemies of ours. We're, you know, we're quite happy to have tons of people on our Discord, uh, and our Discord's very lively for a small faction. 
but his discord is very very quiet for a massive faction and as you can see he re finally reports that uh, dmps cheating or cheats i can't read it on the small preview screen but uh, hopefully you'll be able to he then goes on to tell people on his discord that he was knocked offline by star o you know and that rob of seventh legion should rethink his uh, <laughs> rethink their alliance with us uh, Rob actually leaves his Discord, um, has left his Discord now because he was fed up of getting pinged by the guy and the guy constantly threatening 7th Legion because of stuff that the Dark Marauders were doing. Uh, which I can't say I blame Rob for. This guy's salt is, you know, sometimes a little too rich and if you're having to part with being pinged constantly by him for over absolutely ludicrous claims, it, it would get bothersome. But luckily I'm blocked. Most of, I got blocked off the Discord. Um, I recently got taken off off block uh, so he could send me a message saying hi when I replied with hi he poor reported me for harassment so <laughs> that was nice he reported attack panda for harassment and attack panda didn't even message him so yeah he's he's on top form he uh, encountered a lot of dark marauders this week and reported all of them for harassment um, I don't think he understands that in an MMO you are allowed to fly around the space station people are in. Um, you may run into other commanders when you are in open. Um, especially if it's a group that you threaten to disband and slaughter. And you're apparently spanking. Um, you claim you've killed two of our members recently. Or had your number one or something kill two of our members recently. Um... I don't think these guys even killed two of our NPCs. I just don't think they've done anything, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> as I said in part three. Um, I mean, some of the claims I've got coming up, some of the clips I've got to show you are epic. Uh, absolutely epic. But I had to start here. We have to go back to the start. And basically, this all started because he reported Scooby for harassment on his live stream. And all Skibby did was send him a message saying, Oh, I robbed one of those your commanders up in Colognonia. That was it. He, Skibby commented on a looking for post he'd, been, he'd put up, and that was harassment. And since that time, all he's been doing is reporting Dark Marauder members for harassment, cheating, weird and wonderful stuff, making absolutely tons of claims that he is going to destroy us, that he's going to end us, disband our faction. Um, I don't know how. He hasn't gone into that. Don't know when. He won't say. And he's just been saying these sort of crazy things over and over and over again. Um, and every time we ask him questions, he just reports us for harassment. It's the most ridiculous thing. And then this guy who's threatened to disband us multiple times keeps making scurrilous claims, reporting us over and over and over again, says stuff like this to Pirate Orc. And let's face it, when he said that, there was only ever going to be one reaction. <laughs> and as the reaction to the comment about spanking us, well, really. Son, your ego is writing checks your body can't cash. Now, this is the closest I've been to your eminence in the same station as him. A couple of landing pads over. But some of our commanders got very close to him and it was time to unleash the big guns. We'll be back soon. So, we're going to take a pause and take a quick look at what you guys sponsor. With your guys' views, you help out Big Red Rooster Cockerel Rescue, helping out cocks of all sizes, all shapes, and for the love of the cock, keep watching so we can raise money for this lovely little animal rescue and save birds by my little co-pilot here. So, the Dark Marauders brought out the big guns. We knew where he was. We brought down a lot of Dark Marauders, um, and two Dark Marauders in particular got a wonderful slice of luck. The pirate orc uh, called in the assistance of the attack panda. No one expects an attack panda. It's got to be said, they're a fearsome, ferocious creature not to be messed with. And thanks to the attack panda being closer in region to uh, your eminence, he was able to instance with him. And that meant when your eminence was in multi-crew, pirate orc and the attack panda were able to find the ship that he was multi-crewing in and um yeah attack panda was fortunate enough to capture the entire event in a one minute snippet from interdiction to destruction um 
The commander who got killed did actually take it pretty well when he was messaged and it was explained to him why he was being attacked. Um, Pirate Orc was quite happily telling him as long as you're in Lyra this sort of thing may happen because we're currently at war with you because your commander, your eminence, has said he's going to disband us and destroy us and he's declared war on us. So we're going like to continue to attack and kill Lyra commanders whenever we find them, wherever we find them. And uh, by hook or by crook, we're just going to keep on killing them. Uh, this is the view from his live stream. He was in multi-crew in this ASP at the time. And um, yeah, um, sorry about the bad quality. And the, the view's terrible, to be honest. I didn't realize the view was this bad in multi-crew. Um, I mean, you can head turn and head look and stuff. It's quite a nice little bubble cockpit at the bottom of the ASP. So I thought your view would have been better than this. Um, I've never multi-crewed in an ASP. Um, but yeah, um, I, it was uh, pretty horrifically quick, but he did try and fight back the commander, so I will say fair play to the commander who's piloting this ship, even if the commander in his passenger seat is just a pad warming coward who won't come out and fight, at least the commander who was transporting him around did actually put up a fight, though to be fair, he had no hope. Um, we all know that. It was, a sad execution of a poor little asp exploder. Um, and I don't think even my asp exploder is taking on a corvette and a cutter anytime soon. But yeah, Commander Pirate Orc spoke to the commander in question after ramming in there. He did tell the commander, you know, this is what's going to happen if you're part of Lyra because we're at war with them. And the commander who actually got killed took it very well. I don't think. Your eminence took it particularly well, but you know, it's all fun. Ouch, town population, you bro! Now let's go on with the purveyance of salt. Um, so, I I asked him for a one v one in an asphyx explorer. He refused. He just ignored me, saying it over and over again in local. Even though he did unblock me, I messaged him. I sent it in local. Nothing. Uh, Panda attacked his Discord to ask some questions like, you know, how's someone hiding on a landing pad going to destroy us, spank us, or do anything uh, when that person won't even do a 1v1? And also, could he unblock Frodo Swaggins? Because apparently he had Frodo Swaggins blocked. Um, he then calls us trash, etc. The usual claims. Claims we're known cheaters. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, Oh, you just love it, don't you? Known cheaters, but the cheating is, well, nothing. Just because you say something happened doesn't mean something actually really happened. Um, so, you know, uh, Panda's then talking about the whole incident, and, uh, you know, he reckons Star's going to lose his account because he's mailing the video to Frontier. Like, um, no, apparently your reporting doesn't work because Star's still got his account. And as of the date I'm recording this, he's still got his account. It's not going anywhere. Um, it's basically a you problem because your game crashed and you're blaming it on someone else. Uh, it's absolutely and utterly insane. Uh, then we had this little exchange, which I gotta say is beautiful. The levels of entitled, delusional, weird stuff we're dealing with with this guy is just on another level. Um, he has a crack squadron of tough, rugged commanders. Yeah, you'll see. He actually claims this in a bit. Um, he is going to destroy us um, from that landing pad. Um, here we go. So, yeah. Um, I'll skip to the middle bit because the middle bit's the really fun bit. You're definitely all living on borrowed time and your shit allies. Anyway, DMPS had their chance here and you are a pathetic squadron. It may not happen today or tomorrow or next week, even next year, um, next month, but it's definitely your ending. <laughs> yeah. Pause that if you want to read the whole crazy. It's insane. It's just absolutely beautifully, beautifully insane. Of course, he blocked Panda for hand his little raid onto his discord but it got me another lot of content so i'm very very grateful to panda as i thanked him here uh, as you can see 
Panda told me he was blocked. So uh, once I put the fresh bamboo in Panda's cage, I thanked him for it. Um, and I've got to say, everyone's been really fun chipping in, helping out, sending me screenshots, um, sending me absolutely insane numbers of screenshots. I'm getting bombarded by loads of people with questions about this guy. Uh, there is a theory going around that he's got an alternate gamer tag that's a, kind of a famous salty one, but I don't know about that. This comment was, this is some newbie asked him about his squadron and he said, uh, in Elite Dangerous, being hard is a normal thing for my squadron. <laughs> he says he was hacked. So he also says that his squadron controls one of the toughest regions of space. They don't control anything. They haven't got a BGS. It's like absolute delusional or delusional levels. And this is a member of his squadron. Um, being hard is, yeah, not really in their raison d'etre. It's, yeah, they seem to just die. At this point, it's 8 0. We are the Dark Marauders. We've been around since 3301. We're not going anywhere because everyone knows. <laughs> In an and finally, I would love to thank uh, Papa Prometheus here for that intro clip of him posting on. Uh, your eminence is discord that was his clip and thank you very much for letting me use it and also for telling people think your eminence is lying about us on his discord or at least he did before he got banned from his discord anyway that's all 07 everyone especially your eminence <laughs>